Hi to all. Welcome back to my channel. This is KVS, your mentor for CBSC, JE Mains, Advanced, and also for all competitive exams. My dear parents and students, try to support my channel to give the best videos. Before starting the class, I would like to share one quote. Mathematics can be fit into an equation in which we have to remove the minus and we have to add the positives to get most of it. In this session, I would like to bring some of the questions in inverse trigonometric functions. So without late, you can go here. So mistake has happened. You can say here functions, inverse trigonometric functions. So class two. So here is the question number one. Find the domain. Find the domain of sine inverse of two minus x is given. Find the domain of sine inverse two minus x is given. So this question is simply based on the fundamental concept of sine inverse x. We know that sine inverse x is meaningful. Whatever argument is given, if it is said to be defined or if it is meaningful, the argument should lie between minus 1 to plus 1 here. That means, so whatever guy is here, this guy should lie between minus 1 to plus 1 here. So minus 1 plus r equals to 2 minus x less r equal to 1. So after this, you know how to solve uh, an equation. So adding minus to both sides. So this will give minus 3 and this is negative minus 2 plus 2 ruled out here and minus x plus r equals to minus 2 plus 1 means you get minus 1 here. So to discard minus 1, I get uh, positive 1 to positive 3. So therefore, domain of x, domain of this function where x lie between uh, 1 comma 3. So 1 is included and 3 also included. So this is one example. So you can try this question, question number one for practice I am giving, practice uh, sake I am giving, question number one. So find the domain of sine inverse. So I changed this here, x minus three by two. This is one question you can practice. So second one is, I would like to bring the graph of y is equal to cos inverse x. y is equal to cos inverse x, second graph here. So domain of this function is same as usual, minus 1 to 1. So minimum is minus 1, maximum is plus 1 here. So range of this function is 0, 5, 0, 5 here. So that means whatever argument, so you have to understand the simple argument. So your simple argument is given directly, x belongs to this one and y belongs to 0, 5 here. So let us say what are the points on the graph, if I say x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 means, uh, I am taking y is equal to 0 here. Suppose this is 1, this is 1, and this is uh, uh, this is minus 1, sorry. This is 0, this is 1 here. So x is equal to 1 means I am getting angle is 0 degrees here. 1 comma 0 degrees here. And x is equal to 0, so y goes to 5 by 2. Second point here, x is equal to 0, y goes to 5 by 2. So first point is, uh, I mean, 1 comma 0. Second one is 0, 5 by 2. So x is 0 means y is 5 by 2. And third one is if x is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1 implies so y will goes to pi here. This is the maximum possibility in the range. This is y is equal to pi here. y is equal to pi here. So this is the maximum possibility. If I continue the graph above this one or below this one, below this one, so then it fails the vertical line test. So therefore it can't be a function. So therefore, whenever cos inverse x is given, should understand domain is minus 1 to 1, range is 0, 5. And one example uh, based on this one, one question based on this one. Find the domain of y is equal cos inverse, y is equal cos inverse 2 plus x by. So 2 plus x upon 2 is given, 2 plus x upon 2 is given. So here argument is this one is given, 2 plus x by 2 here. If the cos inverse x is real or cos inverse x is defined, it should lie between minus 1 to 1 here. That means minus 1 plus r equals to 2 plus x by 2 less r equals to 1. So, you know, multiplying to minus 2 less r equals to 2 plus x 
less or equal to positive 2 here, positive 2 here. So adding minus 2, adding minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 4, less or equal to, x less or equal to 0. So therefore, so domain is, I mean, domain of this function is minus 4, comma, minus 4, comma, 0 here. Okay, minus 4, comma, 0. So for this value, the function is defined. So what is the range means? As usual, the range lies between 0, comma, 5. So here is second question you can try. So y is equal cos inverse 3 minus x upon 5. 3 minus x upon 5. So find the domain as well as range. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Right. So before concluding, before concluding, I would like to give one property, one identity, uh, identity in the inverse trigonometric functions. So identity one is here. Rule number one, we can say, or you can say first thing here. So inverse sine sin inverse x plus cos inverse x will be equals to pi by 2. So we have regular identities like cos inverse x, I mean cos squared x plus sin squared x will be equals to 1. This is a regular identity in trigonometry. But whereas inverse you are getting like sin inverse x plus cos inverse x will be equals to pi by 2. So where common domain is minus 1 to 1. So it is only when x belongs to minus 1 to 1 here. So many switch overs are there here. Sin inverse x can be pi by 2 minus. Cos inverse x is pi by 2 minus sin inverse x. I can write only sin inverse. I can write alone cos inverse. So many manipulations here. So little explanation here. So I'm taking sin inverse x to the equal t. Sin inverse x to the equal to some theta or t. So that means uh, from this you are getting x to the equal sin theta. So as usual theta belongs to. Theta belongs to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 here. So sine theta, if I convert into cosine, cosine 90 minus theta, cosine 90 minus theta. So inverse trigonometric functions, you have to understand a thumb rule like. So this is a TR, thumb rule is to operate inverse, to bring inverse to this side, it should be under principal domain, it should be under principal domain, whatever angle is given. So I am bringing directly cos inverse x will be 90 minus theta, that means 90 minus sin inverse x. I got the required identity here. If you want to check the domain, so theta belongs to minus pi by 2, pi by 2, basic fundamental domain. And I need uh, minus theta, minus theta also same thing, 90 minus theta. So if I add 90 here, I'm getting 0, 90 plus 90, I'm getting 180. So we got the fundamental domain. So I can inverse this one. So therefore, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 when x belongs to minus 1 to 1. So thank you so much. Thanks a lot for watching this.